Hello everyone, it's me Andrea. I'm here today with my sixth page in my, is it the sixth? Yeah, I think so. Um, in my art journal left over. And um, I um, pick here stuff out of my leftover basket. And um, yeah, by now, it's Easter weekend here. I had time enough and I chucked everything out. So, um, of course, I used some of that stuff in um, another project. You will see later a video about that. And uh, really, Bint and all the other stuff, I was so fed up with it. Why, why do I keep all that little bits, you know? And I really was strict now and everything went into the bin. So I'm quite happy. It was a lot of, it was a lot of, yeah, rubbish. Come on, be honest. So um, I covered that page in gesso. First I thought about incorporating one or two of these dragonflies, but it was far too busy. So I um, gessoed it completely. And here this... Uh, letter cut out, um, I cut it up and use it here on the bottom and I then got the idea that could be an underwater scene and these um, should be corals, a reef, you know, and yeah, that's because I had this um, fish stems in that leftover pile and decided to do an underwater scene that's uh, this fish stems are stems from Rin design so I used some of her bubbles as well this is um, meshy ribbon it's a, it's a gold shiny ribbon and I used it on top here to yeah, get a bit of a surface um, yeah, looks should look like a surface on the on the sea and First I started with uh, pure turquoise and this one, actually one moment, um, this is, I have to dig deep for that, this is from Golden, it's a turquoise phthalo, phthalo, yeah whatever, that's a really really dark turquoise. It's beautiful really, but um, I hardly use it on its own. I normally use it with, uh, mix it with a lighter color. And uh, so the beauty comes out with that much better, I think. It's really, really dark, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful, love it. So um, on top, of course, I try to work a bit of lighter, distress the page up there with a baby wipe and with a bit of white I went in. Here I distress it again with the baby wipe to have um, it on the surface lighter, of course. So now you, you can see me stamping. It's, you know, this art journal now is so bulky and uh, it's really, really difficult to, to get the stamps properly down. And um, yeah, I'm a very impatient person, so I'm not into this covering it up and stamp it, put the cover away again. So, And it was quite difficult with this acrylic block. So I, as you can see now, I end, I end up to, to use the stamp without it. But that, yeah, wasn't working that great because I slipped quite a bit. And But it was okay at the end. So um, got the result I was after. No, it's it's not perfect, but come on, I'm not going for perfection here. I'm going here for having fun making the page. That's what it's all about, isn't it? So, um, yeah, a bit filling the gaps here and there. And um, then I'm making this, um, the reflection, I fill that in with this gel pen. I will mm, later at the end I will go over it with white acrylic paint because this gel pen is not um, permanent so I rubbed it partially off with a baby wipe and so I had to replace it. And here I used the turquoise again, this dark curd turquoise and went only over the corals so called, <laughs> to, to darken them up. 
and um, I go over with the baby wipe to blend it better. So, and then here you can see me, that's why, where I um, um, wipe some of this white jelly pen off. So, so I stamped this fish down, they are from Marine Design as well, um, because I thought I wouldn't cut the fishes or fuzzy cut the fishes completely, but I did at the end, so it wouldn't have been necessary, but yeah, that's what I did. Here I colorized them with a bit of gold as a basic. They're carbs, aren't that Type of koi or so, I haven't got a clue, but I think they look like koi, so that's what I put in on, bit of gold, bit of this orange reflection. Wiped it off with my fingers a bit so that it wasn't that... Uh, um, that um, um, yeah, that defined the color so or the paint. That's what they look like at the end. And of course, I went back with a pit pen to um, go over the lines again to define it again. Of course. So gluing them down, so you can see even this this antennas or moustache or whatever you call them at the mouth, I haven't got a clue what they call them. even that a fussy cut, yeah, I'm very very proud of myself <laughs> and this is um, a wax paste I put on top of that to make it more shiny it's a silver wax paste and then I use my triple gloss gel um, that one in a, in a jar and to get some reflections, I used my pit pen in white here and went over the reef corals. <laughs> and um, afterwards, it wasn't not shiny enough because it's underwater and it should shine. So I have this um, permut or seashell thing. What uh, we call it permut? I don't know what is it. Seashell, you call it? Um, the very shiny to the reflection. It looks quite white here. But it's it's very translucent. It's not really white, but like palmwood or seashell. So, and um, that looks that looks really nice. Makes um, the right reflections here, I think. And it's my triple gloss again. I went over the fishes. They have to be shiny, of course. And this um, a bit out of camera. Sorry about that. And. Uh, the next step, I think, is going, yeah, having a bit of shading with my Stabilo Oil. That one what gets smaller and smaller. I can hardly hold it in my hands, but I will definitely use it up as much as possible. Blend it a bit with the blending stump, and uh, I didn't want to use the, the water for that because I wanted to have it really dark so when you go over it with water then it gets a bit lighter and around the fishes of course in the same way so and then I thought mm, that looks quite mm, not interesting enough a bit yeah there wasn't a lot going on so I used this cut up credit card dipped into white paint and made this yeah, what I see now made some hashtags. Doesn't it look like hashtags? So, yeah, I didn't realize it. But, yeah, I made some hashtags, okay. I, to get a bit of more, more interest on that page. So I didn't want to put that much on. And I had still some white paint left, so I made some dots around the corals. Uh, simply with a brush and nothing special and then of course I still had white paint left and I decided to go over the bubbles and do the reflections again with the acrylic paint that looked much nicer so and then my hubby is just outside in the garden and is knocking against the window go away <laughs> waving at me um, and uh, yeah here I'm doing the bubbles um, with a uh, triple gloss gel again of course a bit of etching with but now I use black acrylic paint so 
have that laying around, I think. So, and that's the words. And this time it's in German again. It's dot dot dot, wie ein Fisch im Wasser. That means we have a saying. So, like a fish in the water, when we want to say we are feeling healthy, like a fish in the water, or fresh, or like a fish in the water, that's what we say. So, um, that's why I choose it. And this time I will teach you German after. While watching my videos, you will be able to understand a bit of German. Haha. -ha. So that's a close up. And at the end, you will uh, see some photos. And yeah, I thank you a lot for watching. I hope you like it a bit. And I will see you with the next video. So have a nice week. See you then. Bye bye.